Hello world folks, good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of world news and analysis. Before I move on to any further details, I'd really love to thank you all for enormous love and support. In case you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for guys? Hit that subscribe button now and don't forget to press that bell icon. After the Duke and Duchess announced her engagement in 2017, Michelle Hussein spoke with her about her meeting her future sister-in-law. Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex, revealed her first impressions of Kate. Princess of Wales during their initial encounter at a private dinner in 2017. The meeting took place one year into Meghan's relationship with Prince Harry, after the couple's first date at the exclusive Soho House in London 2016. The pair later announced their engagement in November 2017 with a photo call at Kensington Palace. Speaking at the BBC's Michelle Hussein after their engagement, Meghan and Harry disclosed the details of her first meeting with Kate. Harry expressed excitement about introducing his then-girlfriend to the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. William was longing to meet her. So was Catherine, he said. Being our neighbors, we managed to get in a couple of, well, quite a few times now. Catherine has been absolutely trailed off, with Meghan interjecting wonderful. Meghan went on to describe how the royal family warmly welcomed her. We recalled her first meeting with the late Queen Elizabeth. She stated to be able to meet her through Harry, and not just with his honor and respect for her as the monarch. But the love he has for her as his grandmother, all those layers has been so important for me. So that when I meet her, I had such a deep understanding of, of course, incredible respect for being able to have that time with her. And we really had a really, she's, she's an incredible woman. Since stepping down from the royal duties in 2020, Moving to California, relationships between the Sussexes and the rest of the firm has been strained. Harry and Meghan are currently raising their two children, Archie and Lilibet, in Montecito Mansion. Their daughter is named after the late Queen, whose childhood nickname was Lilibet. According to the author Tom Quinn's book, Gilded Youth, an intimate history of growing up in the royal family, Lilibet's name was intended as a compliment to the Queen. However, the choice name sparked controversy with some seeing it as a cynical attempt to cash in on their royal currency. According to Quinn, royal biographer Giles Brandreth, and on the other hand, believed the Queen would have been touched by the gesture. As the Sussexes settle into a new life in the U.S., the world eagerly watches to see what the future holds, whether their relationship with the royal family can be mended. So what do you guys think? What impact does Harry and Meghan's departure from the royal duties have on the relationship between the Sussexes and the rest of the firm? Write it in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. Until then, I guess we'll just have to wait and see if things turn out to be something after all. Also, if you never want to miss any of my Sizzling World updates like this, subscribe and press that bell icon. It's as simple as that. So until next time, hasta la vista.